Now at noon, nearly 100 people were told to grab their personal belongings and evacuate after the Miami condo they were living in was deemed unsafe. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami, where the city is now working to find these families a place to sleep. Brooke. Hey, Francis. Yeah, I'm told the city of Miami right now is looking for hotel rooms. They said they're looking for any and every hotel room they can find, trying to give these families, like you said, a place to sleep tonight. In total, more than 100 people evacuated from their condo building. On Tuesday morning, City of Miami building inspectors checked out the concrete columns of this condo building. At the same time, people who live here grabbed what they could, putting their things in trash bags, coolers, and suitcases. What is this, man? What is this? A CBS4 viewer sent us this cell phone video of the building at 5050 Northwest 7th Street, deemed unsafe late Monday. And my grandfather just comes in the house screaming that we have to leave immediately. People in the building's more than 130 units given just hours to pack up their lives. I packed a bag. Um, I packed a bag for my mom, for my grandfather. I mean, for my grandmother, I grabbed my dogs, and we're just here, you know, waiting. The condo building has apparent structural damage. We're told the building failed its 40 year recertification and got a list of violations a month ago. On Monday, the city building department reviewed unpermitted work being done on the building and found the columns were structurally insufficient. Immediately, more than 100 people were told they'd need to be gone by the morning. There's a lot of elderly people that live here, and on the eighth, seventh floor, like they weren't even able to come down. They could barely walk, so that was very unfortunate. We don't know where we're going to go. And I'm told that last check, there were still about five families working to get all of their belongings together and get out of the building. Again, at this point, we are told that the city is helping with some hotel rooms for anyone who was displaced, and they are working to cover the cost of those rooms until this condo building is safe again. But when that will happen, that, that timeline still unclear. I'm live here in Miami, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.